So here at the M uh, MediaTek event, you're launching a 7623. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is this? Uh, it's the dual card Quaco uh, ARM-based CPU as a so quad Cortex A7. CA7 Cortex A7. And uh, this is for home gateway. Yeah. So the quad core is it inside here? This one. All right. So what is the vision here? What do you want to do with this? Okay, we see the trend that uh, they are getting more and more mobile devices uh, at home and uh, downloading the, the video streaming. And uh, we see that you need a higher uh, packet processor at home. Because it's uh, one of the big problems with uh, uh, today. Mm -hmm. People watch Netflix, YouTube, and then the gateway is is getting full, right? Yeah. And then it gets buffering is bad. So it's not only because of the internet, mm -hmm. right? It's also local. Uh, local is one thing that, but uh, you know, the pipe from the internet to the gateway, you still need a larger pipe, pipe than before, right? So you also need a higher bandwidth, but yeah. you also need a new gateway. You are right. Yeah. And handling, handling and the transfer the packet from the internet to the wireless devices. And people watch on the, on the phone, on the tablet, on the TV box, on the TV, all yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So how many do you support? How fast and bandwidth? I would say that in total aggregate bandwidth we can support up to 2.5G. 2.5 gigabytes? Bits G per second, sorry. Gigabit per second? Yep. And uh, here it says uh, 4 G. GBs. What is 4 this? 4 GBs uh, by direction. Ah, re by directional. Yeah, by the, because the Ethernet world, Ethernet world is different from the wireless world. Wired world is that you can have the full duplex, means you can have a download direction and upload direction at the same time. But for the Wi Fi, the only unit direction. Okay, as you know, that 4x4 11 AC coming. Uh, coming to the market in this year, and the dual band aggregate bandwidth up to 1.9 G BPS Whoa. so far. So th that's a new Wi-Fi bandwidth. Yeah. 4 by 4, 11 AC. Yeah. Uh, this is premium. Is yeah. it premium gateway? Yeah. Is that a cheap one? Not not cheaper one. Yeah. How, but it can be good price. What is the target? Every consumer should have one, or what? Uh, I would say that uh, if you have a multi multi screen streaming the demand at home, and maybe you have a NAS at your home, you you want to you know display, do you want to see the movie in different uh, devices? You need, you will need this one. This is the high end. So you can do NAS. Uh, we can support NAS by attaching the uh, hard. Hard disk through the USB. So is it fast NAS? Fast. Is it fast NAS, right? Yeah. Using the whole bandwidth that you have? Yeah. And you also have very fast VPN? Yes. One gigabit VPN with encryption. Yes. And uh, built-in Bluetooth 4.1. Yeah, it's building inside the, the, the CPU so that you can, you know, uh, by attaching the and of the IF chip, then you can connect to your wearable device like this one and uh, to collect the statistic and upload it to the cloud. How about other radio? Is it possible to get other IoT radio inside? Yes. Which one? Um, we can attach the ZB or Z Web to our different kind of interfaces here. And the general one, maybe you know that like UR or SPY, okay, okay. or S Square S, and connect to the ZB, Z Web, and then connect to the IoT devices. Nice. And uh, today you also announced another product, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what is this one? This one? Yeah. And then, so, so hello. hello. So today you launch uh, MT7687. Yes. So what's the difference between this and this? What's okay. the difference? This is uh, for the IoT and devices. This uh, will make good uh, module. This is here? Yeah, this is module. This is the IoT module, Wi-Fi module. You can put this Wi-Fi module into the home appliance, smart plug, small stand, to make the device connect to the internet. Uh, is this is this ARM? Yes, this is ARM based. 
Which, which arm? CFO. So it's arm this cortex, arm cortex M4. M4. And uh, high integration with uh, integration flash and the RAM. And uh, we have some security engine inside to make the, the IoT module more security, more power safe, and uh, high integration. So this little module right here is going to go in many, many IoT devices. Yes, you can put it in the uh, uh, air conditioner. Uh, or the uh, washing machine to let the uh, traditional washing machine to be the more smart. So what is the power consumption? Is uh, very it high? Very low. Very low. Uh, How low? Power con con low power consumption. How low? It has many uh, kind of the dissipating mode. We go to very dissipate, we can go to a uh, few, several microamp. Uh, power consumption. Does that mean 10 year battery life or how long is battery life? Uh, maybe one or, one or years. Uh, one or two years? Well, it depends on use case. If you always communication with the internet, the power can still high. If you use only one every half hour, you can do this? Yes. And can. how long is battery? Small battery like this. Uh, maybe a uh, AA battery with uh, two or three AA battery with uh, half half year. Half a year. Half a year. All right. So did you design a Wi-Fi specifically for IoT? Uh, not only Wi-Fi. We have the Bluetooth chip and uh, Wi-Fi with the Bluetooth combo chip. Is that a, a different name? Yes, they were the different yeah. name. The name is uh, very difficult for the Wi-Fi one by one low power Wi-Fi. All right. How soon is this uh, ready? Oh, this, uh, shipping? The, the chip is ready. I will have the product ready shipping by our customer in this year. How soon? This year. This our year. customer will be, will be MP this year. All right. This and also this year? Of course, this year is the MP. Also this year? End of this year. All right.